What's up, guys? Welcome to Mass Effect Talks. I apologize that this is late. I put up on Twitter and on Facebook the other day that I wasn't going to be able to put Mass Effect Talks on time because I wasn't feeling well, and it's just been... The past few days have just been blah. I appreciate all of you guys' comments. Um, you know, those get well comments. I, I really, really do. that. Those mean a lot. So thank you. But today's Mass Effect Talks, I really wanted to be okay feeling good for this because it's a lot of information. It's a very big topic. I think it's a very important topic to understanding, I think, a big piece of Mass Effect 3 and the Reapers, or the Reapers' intentions, possibly. Or maybe even the way that we might be able to take down the Reapers. So what I'm going to be talking about today is Dark Energy and the Mass Relays in Mass Effect. But I'm going to go into, like, everything, I like break it all down because there's a lot of words that come up that I think not a lot of people understand exactly what they mean or what they are, where it's just like, okay, well, I kind of know what that is. For example, I'm going to go over um, Dark Energy, Element Zero, how that plays a, a, a part, Mass Effect Fields, um, and then, of course, the Mass Relays themselves, and just some weird things that surround all of these that have a connection to the Reapers and or the Protheans and everybody else in the galaxy. So let me first talk about dark energy. Dark energy is something that actually ex exists. Um, it's not just a Mass Effect type of thing. Uh, I believe it's called dark energy or, or dark force sometimes. It's considered by some to be the fifth universal force. So what are universal forces? These are the forces that influence matter. Sometimes they're also called fundamental interactions. These are all non-contact forces and the four are electromagnetism, strong interaction, weak interaction, and there's, these two are sometimes called strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force. Uh, and then gravitation. Dark energy also fits in these kind of fundamental interactions because of its repulsive effects. In Mass Effect, let's say the mass relays, they were, you know how they push, they push the ship forward. Um, that's, that's caused by dark energy. Dark energy is manipulated by the rare element zero. When, when element zero is, is subjected to uh, electrical currents, it releases dark energy, which can be harnessed to create a mass effect field. And these mass effect fields are what lower or higher um, uh, an object's mass or weight. Uh, and that's the, the, the key to dark energy, the repulsion of dark energy and the interaction that it has with objects. So uh, this is exactly what causes the mass relays to uh, to like push the ship into space to repulse it if the mass is lowered the the weight of the object is less therefore it has a further um further repulsion but if if the the mass is higher um it becomes heavier and this is when they use uh dark energy and element zero to create different types of uh objects or um, like say shields, um, shields are also, they also use element zero and this whole dark energy idea and mass effect fields because that is when the mass is hired so it creates almost like a shield because it's it's heavier, it's, it's stronger. So element zero, even though it's such a rare el element in mass effect, it is used for a lot of things, not only for space travel but also for creating um, different types of objects and stuff like that. But before I go further, a lot of this may have confused you, and I don't blame you because I'm not big on this whole physics stuff. Um, it took me a while to understand everything, but um, I'm going to go into each term that I just went over, especially because I'm going to go deeper into it so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. One of those was element zero. Another one is the uh, mass effect fields and then of course FTL travel. So let me start with element zero. Element zero is also known as ESO and the atomic number of element zero is zero and the chemical symbol is EZ. So like I said when an electrical current 
is in contact with element zero, it releases dark energy. Depending on the current, it, it, it will either lower the mass or higher the mass. If, uh, if you have a positive, a positive current, it increases the mass of the object. If you have a negative current, it decreases it. And this is, this is what's called the mass effect field. So it could be used in, in a number of ways, like I said. You could either um, generate artificial gravity for uh for space travel or like the hanar when i talked about the hanar they use they they use a little pack so that they could float uh because they they their normal environment is in the water so they swim they don't normally float uh so when they're outside of their environment outside of the water they use this little thing that must be implanted in in them uh for them to float so it lowers their mass it's this dark energy that is lowering their mass so that they could float it generates it or manipulates the gravity around them. This little piece that I'm going to talk about right now is pretty interesting and kind of important, I think. Element zero is uh, mostly used to enable faster than light space travel, so FTL. But this is the part that I'm talking about. When the humans discovered the Prothean ruins on Mars, they also discovered refined element zero that the Protheans had left behind. And this is what uh, enabled uh, enabled them to, to research into FTL drives and, and all that. And this was before the discovery of the Charon Relay. Charon Relay is the mass relay that was encased in ice. And people thought that it was actually a moon, Pluto's one of Pluto's moons named Charon. But it wasn't, it was a mass relay. Um, so this happened before the discovery of the Charon Relay, before the first contact wars, because once the humans activated the Charon Relay, the first contact wars started. And the Charon Relay was what they called a primary relay. And I'll go more into that. I'll explain what primary and secondary relays are. So this was before uh, 2149, about over 40 years before Mass Effect 1 when they discovered the Ezo, uh, the element zero in the Prothean ruins. So that was, that's a little important part uh, for you guys to remember for when I explain this later. Um, but continuing with, with element zero, element zero is generated when a solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. That's where you get element zero, and that's why it's so rare, because, you know, stars don't go supernova all the time, and it's hard to find. So, element zero is usually in planets that have a, a, a red giant in their system. Also, it's, it's the, the material is common in the asteroid debris. Uh, that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. I I, <laughs> I keep on noticing that I keep going like this. I'm just really animated when I talk, if you guys are wondering why I, I'm always like... I apologize. I, I can't... I, I don't know. I it, <laughs> it helps me talk. It's weird. I don't know. I'm just really in your face. Anyways, these are pretty dangerous places to mine, so they use a lot of robots and stuff like that to, to mine element zero in these places. Because usually where there's element zero, there's a lot of radiation due to the the um, due to the dead star in that system. The, there's also dust form of element zero that is released after engine accidents. And the dust form of element zero is usually used to, uh, for many species, to influence or strengthen the presence of biotics. Because biotics has this connection with dark energy, uh, so if there's there's a contact with element zero, the dark energy that, uh, and with the, tied with the electrical current of a biotic, um, now this is really, it's not something very easy for the biotic to control, but it's there. If, if there is a contact with a biotic, biotic with element zero, um, they could release dark energy, and this is like when a biotic uses singularity. I believe that that is one of the cases. So, if a child is exposed to dust form element zero in the in 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 utero, uh, due to the mutagenic effects, there is a small chance they can develop ESO nodule, nodules throughout their nervous system that react to electrical stimuli from the brain, 
making them biotic. Of course, not all exposures to element zero cause or create biotics or make a, a person a biotic. Um, sometimes it just m m mutates your uh, genetics and then it just you know turns into cancer or something like that. Also, something that a lot a lot of people don't know is uh, red sand. Red sand is a drug. Uh, now they do talk about it. Uh, they do mention it in Mass Effect, the game, but they talk more about it in the books. One of the main characters, uh, Paul Grayson, was addicted to red sand early on in the books. And he stopped using red sand in the last book, Retribution. Um, he, wasn't, he was clean. But red sand actually contains the dust form of Element Zero. And the elusive man, when they captured Paul Grayson to do these, the re these Reaper... Uh, Reaper tests on him with the Reaper technology that the that Cerberus had. They implanted him with all this Reaper technology, and since since Paul Grayson still had his his wit, his the sense of uh, will, his own will, um, he kept on fighting the Reapers, and the Reapers couldn't really get a hold of him completely yet. It was going to take longer for them to get a hold of him, uh, and the elusive man was like. We've got to get him to uh, to let go, so the Reapers could take over. We we have to see how this works. So they gave him red sand, so that he could lose his mind and the Reapers could take over. But not only did it did it make him lose his mind um, easier or faster, so that the Reapers could take over. Uh, it also made his biotics stronger, uh, because Reaper technology, for some reason, always causes biotics. So Paul Grayson had biotic powers now that he didn't have normally. With the added uh, effects of the red sand, it only made his biotic powers even stronger because of the element zero that that is in red sand. Another thing that element zero is used for is to uh, power the, self, the stealth systems of a ship. So like the Normandy, the Normandy has one of the most advanced stealth systems in the, in, in the Alliance. And that is caused by Element Zero. This brings me to Dolan. A lot of you may not know what Dolan is, just because it's not usually referred to as Dolan. It's referred to as Haystrom's son. Haystrom's son is called Dolan and the system itself. The system is called the Dolan system because of the sun. There are three planets and an asteroid belt in Dolan. And one of them is Haystrom. Now what's going on with Dolan is that it's prematurely turning into a red giant. So you could find element zero on Dolan or in the Dolan system because of this. Remember I told you that element zero is present wherever there is a red giant? And wherever there is a lot of element zero, um, and the whole uh, triggering of the dark energy because of the electrical impulses and stuff like that, in in that system, there is a lot of radiation. So that's why there's so much radiation in Haystrom all of a sudden. It's a phenomenon that's been going on for a while now. A lot of people think that the Dolan is actually a weapon or some kind of uh, some kind of plan of the Geth. Because they're like, well, the Geth were on Haystrom, so the Geth have to be the ones that are manipulating uh, Dolan or Haystrom's son somehow. And it's and that's that's not the case. It wasn't the Geth. Because this phenomenon of Dolan becoming a, a red giant prematurely hap was happening before the Geth rebelled against the Corians. So, before the Geth rebelled against the Corians, the Geth had no reason or no way to do this. Uh, there was no talk about the Reapers. I mean, the, the Geth weren't, the heretics didn't even exist yet. So, there was no reason for them to even manipulate the sun or work for the Reapers. For, it, it, it just didn't, it wasn't there. So, dark energy is destabilizing Dolan causing it to, be, to to prematurely turn into a red giant. And what it's doing is dark energy is reducing the mass of the actual sun, turning it into a red giant or, or making it dead and causing all this radiation to emit into the, the system. Now the thing that's unclear though is that is this phenomenon natural or artificial? I think it's artificial 
um, because if you start to, once you hear me talk about all of this stuff, the first thing that comes into your mind, or at least the first thing that came to my mind, was the Reapers. I think a lot of people, when it comes to Haystrom's son, they think of the Reapers or the Geth. It, that, that's usually what they think of. It's got to do with that. And I, I think it's the Reapers. It's obviously not the Geth because this happened before the Geth went uh, rogue. Think about it. The Reapers are, have a huge interest in biotics. That means that they have a huge interest in element zero. And also have the way to manipulate or to even uh, create element zero because how were the mass, mass relays created? They, they contain element zero because they emit dark energy and they repulse you into space. And who created the mass relays? The Reapers did. Even though a lot of people still think that the Protheans did, it was the Reapers. Um, the, the, the person that actually re uh, came up with this idea, the person that actually found out that it wasn't the Protheans that created the mass relays, and it was the Reapers, was Kenson, Dr. Kenson from Arrival from the downloadable content for Mass Effect 2. She was the one that started to say that, that that some mass relays do date back to the time of the Protheans, but there are some relays that are actually older than the Protheans. So she says someone else created the relays. So the re since the Reapers have this whole, um, I mean they created the mass relays, they have the way to manipulate dark energy. They have the way to manipulate uh, Ezo. They have they have a huge interest in biotics. And then all of a sudden, this phenomenon is going on in Dolan, where it's like something's going on with dark energy. Uh, it, it, there's Ezo present. It's got to be the Reapers. The Reapers are using Dolan in some way. Now I'm gonna stop there for a little bit because I'm gonna go into this later when I talk about. Um, mass mass relays and stuff like that. So let's just move on, but just so that you guys could have that in mind, the whole issue with Dolan and the phenomenon and everything like that, and the Reapers. So next, let's talk about the Mass Effect fields. A Mass Effect field, like I was saying earlier, is created through the use of Element Zero and Dark Energy. <laughs> I know, I'm a freaking artist, look at that. That should be like, sold in the Smithsonian or something. The Mako from Mass Effect 1 has a small element zero core. Um, it can reduce the vehicle's mass enough so that when it falls from the Normandy, that the Normandy drops it, it doesn't get messed up because the mass is lowered by the element zero in the, Ma the Mako and that's why um, it's supposed to be so easy to maneuver um, in rugged terrain. I mean, you could go up a little mountain and then it's, <laughs> if you fall off, it's not like you're going to break. Uh, it usually, you know, lands on uh, and you're, you're okay and all that. And it's because of that element zero core. 